Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai vehicle. Practically any Hyundai vehicle guys. If your Hyundai is overheating, we will explain one thing that you, you must check guys. Especially if you have an older, higher mileage vehicle. Anything that's probably 2-3 years and older guys or higher mileage, you need to check this item. Okay, if your car is overheating. Because it could be something that you may not even need to replace absolutely anything. Unless you overheat it really bad, then you may... And, end up practically needing a new engine as well that's why we will explain what it is now we're demonstrating on a hyundai sonata but it should work on multiple hyundai vehicles and some of those are uh, could be hyundai uh, sonata elantra tucson santa fe uh, veloster and accent as well let's explain what it is now if you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai guys, okay, we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos. Now, if you have a Hyundai, you want to check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we're going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out so what we're doing here guys okay that car uh, lately has been a little bit of an issue when you're driving slow okay it starts to overheat or the fan will run uh, quite often the radiator fan and uh, it didn't used to run so often guys so let's explain okay what uh, what can cause that we removed the ac condenser to replace it because uh, it's leaking so we removed it guys and uh, surprise check out what's happening behind it guys okay that radiator is clogged up okay that's between the two the condenser and the radiator so uh, probably if we had the power washer going through here and rinse it a little bit it could have helped uh, some or once in a while you may need to remove and clean them but uh, usually what you can do in some cases remove the radiator fan okay and from the back side if you wash them okay all that stuff will come out between the two radiators and it should drop on the floor but uh, you can see that's so terrible guys that it restricts the airflow okay you can see it's uh, it just uh, it just grows guys it box it it's like a wall so uh now calculate the area of that uh, radiator and that thing is probably about one fifth of it approximately so the car will uh, will cool about uh, 20 percent less efficiently and in addition we've seen some that were bad i mean that were so bad that uh, the whole thing almost was poked up and uh, customers were complaining about overheating they were replacing thermostats water pumps radiator fans but if you hear that your fan runs quite often and you feel your car starting to overheat you must check and make sure that your radiator is clean guys also the radiators can be dirty on the out on the inside as well and you may need to flush them because the same kind of like the same thing can happen on the inside and that's why it's good to flush the cooling system and radiators as well and use only a, uh, approved coolant by the manufacturer because if you use water and stuff they can plug up and uh, create that uh, that rust uh, rust water on the inside so if you have a Hyundai that's overheating you must check this one guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time